Talk about uh, race inducing, at least for some people, right? Uh, I, I, I am indifferent towards it, but um, a trailer for The Little Mermaid dropped this past oh, Sunday okay, during okay. the Academy Awards. And um, it, the reaction to it was to be expected, question mark. Um, like I said, I'm indifferent towards it. I yeah. actually think it looks pretty cool, right? Like the underwater sure. thing and all that. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, it seems like it's pretty faithful to, you know, the the uh, the Disney movie. I, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to get into controversy. Like I said, I'm indifferent. I have I have no problems with you know casting choices and all that. I'm <clears throat> I'm over that. Um. You know, I don't. I really don't care. But you know, as long as it's a competent actor, I don't. I really don't care that who who you pick to play your characters. It's fine, right? Um, that you know, they've. Uh, I think that for a lot of people, this is uh, very disappointing. But to me, it looked fine. I don't. I don't see why. I mean, I'm not gonna go watch this movie. <laughs> like it's not the movie for me, right? It's like oh, I'm gonna go out of my way. Like, Come on, open. <clears throat> she watched the trailer and she was indifferent towards it too. So see, okay, okay. You know, um, which is interesting. Yeah. Because you know we saw. Uh, did we see Cinderella in the movie theater? The remake. Cinderella was good. Uh, it was good. Yeah, we got it, we got it, we have it on Blu-ray. Yeah, and we, you know, Beauty and the, Beauty and the not, Beast. Not yeah. talked about much. That's good. No, it was good. And Beauty and the Beast was good. I, th- I thought it was actually yep. it was quite good. You know, yep. even with Emma Emma Watson's auto tune, it's it's fine. Right. You know. <laughs> so, right. Well, here's the thing, right? So people aren't mad about Emma Watson, you know, with the auto tune. All like they're not mad with the casting with that. No. But then you've got like an actual singer playing Ariel. <laughs> yeah. I, no. Right. <laughs> right. Which sounds really good. Like, I, like does. close your eyes and just listen to her singing, she you know, does, yeah. and you're like, this is Ariel. This yeah. is great. She does. Um, I, I just thought, I, yeah, I, I I know where people are coming from, right? Yeah. And and it's a whole, go, why is Goku white from Dragon Ball Evolution? <laughs> and, I, and I hate it, right? But, yeah, you know, yeah, hear, Dragon, yeah, Ball, yeah. Dragon Ball Evolution could have cast, you know, uh, uh, Donnie Yen back then he was young yeah. as Goku yeah. and it was still a bad movie that didn't save right. it right? that's true that's true good point yeah <laughs> you know that's a good point so that's the thing right as long as you have a competent actor playing the role I don't, I don't care who that character is it's it's it yeah. is what it is it's fine you know but the, the to me they're holding out on the Melissa McCarthy stuff like they're only showing certain parts of her I don't think that's gonna be good hmm I think that's actually out of all the things that I, that I took away. See, I think but, Ursula but might be a little, might not be great. Here's the thing, right? And my only question they have to, but two, right? Two, two opinions I have about that is, um, or, or Ursula is re, it's probably the more over one of the more over the top Disney villains out there mm-hmm. uh, from the original, right? To have Melissa McCarthy do it here, I think it's actually quite a good choice. Oh, I don't have any problem with the yeah. casting. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's the problem. I it's just don't the think per, that the, the character is going to visually okay. going to uh, work. Visually, is what okay, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Like they are uh, hiding, and I don't think. I think it's because it's not great. That's just my my theory. Okay, I see. Where of you're all coming the from. characters, the hide showing. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. Um, showing much of at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are you gonna play? Who are you gonna have to play? Uh, like human or something? Right. Yeah. Right. I know. That's the I question. Know. That's because there's that that I don't mind them holding out on, like because that's just gonna yeah. be a human, right? That's it could why. Be a, yeah, but it could why, be a surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it could be a surprise, yeah. right? But but why why regular Ursula is being is a little, you know, we get everything else, Sebastian, and you know, also you know, yeah, Seb- in. Sebastian freaked me out, dude. Yeah, yeah. So, and I and I get it. Right, it's, it's like it's, the Lion it's King re- realism. Yeah, no, well, not even because like at least the Lion King, you know, you get a lion. It's it's hard to have the expressions, but it's still competent, right? Because it, it looked really, really good. Same, but yeah. but Sebastian, and I think it's just my my disdain for shellfish in general. 
<laughs> Wait, I thought I you just, were going to eat a shrimp just, on the show with I just the, uh, find, I just, the switch. I just found found here. Look, you know what? I, I found Sebastian offensive out of all the <laughs> things in this trailer. <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> because, you know, I hate shellfish. And here's this red crab with its weird eye antenna eyes looking at the camera talking like a jamaican dude you're freaking me out bro but that's the character Obed. no no you want the him to change has the a character he has a human mouth joe i don't know give him a <laughs> i don't want to see that i was like hey this i look a pretty good ariel no, that's terrible. Yeah, but that's the, I mean, like I'm saying, it's for realism. No. It's for realism. Oh, no, no. It's, this isn't a cartoon. It was disgusting. It was, <laughs> it was offensive, Joe. I am offended by the red crab. You're offended that it looked like a real I am offended crab. that it looked like a real crab. <laughs> how I, dare they make a I, crab look how, like a real crab? How dare give, <laughs> how dare they try to make me empathize with shellfish? <laughs> Disney's gonna love this. Oh boy! Uh, <laughs> I'm good. Okay, we, we're we're joking. Like like I said, you know, um, the movie's not for me. Um, yeah. uh, will will I watch it? Probably. If I may watch it with a wife whenever something. Sure, happens, sure, yeah. Honestly. Makes sense. That's the thing. Um, you know, with all thing all things considered, right? I think that that Peter Pan thing that they showed a few weeks ago for those going to Disney oh, Plus yeah. looked way worse. That did not look great. Uh, okay. That did not look so, great. So pause. Yeah. So is this is this uh, are these two projects JPEG projects? It's fact check. When were okay. when was this put into production? Okay. <clears throat> cause because this has you know paycheck written all over it. <laughs> I I agree. <laughs> July 2021. Okay. Yep. January to Jerry, January to July 2021. Does that sound like uh yeah. yeah? Yeah, totally. Yeah. There you go. Because it was 2020. Yeah. So. All right. Well, well this is like I, I didn't need my lightsaber of truth, but I still I still got it. I still got the touch. I, can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still got the touch. <sighs> All right. Well. Look, 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 here's the yeah, thing, though. Okay. The thing with the Peter Pan situation and Little Mermaid, and I think just in general, some of the future of these animated uh, animated adaptations to live action. Congratulations to Guillermo del Toro by winning over everything. On right. Yeah. I think a lot of the ones from the Disney side just has to do with them just trying to retain rights. I I, just, I think that's just what it is, you know, keeping the IP close to Disney. There's probably plenty of legal stuff involved. I'm not saying that they're not trying to make quality projects out of them. I'm not saying that at all. But I do think that there's there's you, you why all of a sudden are we getting a bunch of these being remade? Okay, because Disney's mm-hmm. not original anymore. No, the Disney gonna, has original concepts for sure. I'm gonna blow your socks off with an original concepts concept, sir. You've been to Filler Magic, right? Why not make a CG little mermaid like Frozen? You would make double the money, dude. I don't know, man. Oh, no, bro. You know what? I showed the trailer to my daughter today. And you know what she said? I'm not going to watch it because it's real people. <laughs> it's real people. How dare they be how real dare people? They replace, a real mermaid. How dare they put real Disney, people? How dare you do? Yeah. And that Ariel, she on... probably heard you talking about the the the, the crab, and she was like, "Yeah, Dad, <laughs> that, looks a- real. that Ariel on on the Little Mermaid, uh, uh, on sequence on Filler Magic looks looks excellent." Um, why not make like a stylized? It's starting to look old. You know? It's not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, but it still it still looks fine, right? No, no, sure, sure, it works. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's it, they should they they could have done that. <clears throat> make yeah. double the money. They could have double the money. If this mo if this movie's probably gonna do like like what? Like a buck fifty, probably, like two hundred, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's very fit. I think the reviews are gonna really tell us. Okay. Because if the reviews are really bad, yeah. um, then I I think we're we're not even gonna get a hundred thousand. They, uh, they for yeah. opening weekend. 
Yeah. Talking about, let's talk about all overall opening weekend specifically, which is the real make or break. Yeah. Um, but if the reviews are decent, just I'm not even saying great, but just decent, I think we can crack 100k. Oh, Don't yeah. underestimate the Disney. The Dis- oh, Disney mean, people you mean will, uh, 100K will pay. Meaning like like a million? Oh, like, oh 100 like a million. million 100 million. 100 million. 100 million. My bad. My bad. Oh, okay, 100 okay, million. Okay. 100, okay. 100 million opening weekend. I think if if it's good, just because again, don't underestimate the Disney. True, like fan, these the fandom, these are yeah. the people who who will stay in line for popcorn buckets and yeah, yeah. all this oh, stuff. Yeah, like yeah, right, I right, won't, right. I will not yeah. battle those people. Do you see um, that Mario's so, tracking for so yeah. uh, for 90 million opening week? I th- that's so underestimated. It is right. That is that's gonna that could be double that, bro. That movie's gonna be I'm, two billion. I'm dude. telling you I'm right telling now, you. Yeah. that could be could be two hundred. Yeah, could oh. be could be one fifty to two hundred for opening weekend. It's probably gonna be the, the you know what? In America, not worldwide. Okay, Wololo stick again. Um, I I think this movie is probably gonna be the biggest opening since like maybe Spidey, like. like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, I agree. Yeah, they're not. The theaters aren't ready. Oh yeah, no, they're not ready. So and it, and if for some reason, for some reason it ain't, week two is gonna be amazing. It's oh, gonna yeah. be one of those because which yeah. I think regardless both ways it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Um, because word of mouth's gonna be really really the, good, assuming that the reviews yeah. come out fine. And then third week's gonna be Easter week because and you know that people are oh, gonna go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get your family, get your kids. So that, that movie is probably going to be number one for like a month, dude. Yeah, bro. Yep. 